Welcome to part one of renovating our powder room. My friends at Lowe's challenged me to renovate one space in two days and under $1,000. Do we think I can do it? This was my first big space that I renovated in our home back in 2020, and I was so proud of it then, but my tastes have changed and it's time to say goodbye. In 2022, we had to almost fully gut our house for a mold remediation that left the space without a ceiling and ruined wallpaper. Moved the wallpaper and paid someone to install drywall, and we've just lived with it since. But it's finally time to give the space a glow up and start reclaiming our home from that disaster. First, we have to start with getting rid of this disorganized and fugly vanity. I loved this vanity when I first installed it, but it didn't take long for the paint to chip and the MDF to warp, so she's got to go. While prepping to install a pedestal sink, I noticed the shutoff valve was leaking, and while trying to replace it, a pipe burst and flooded the house. Oh, yeah. My entire family had norovirus during this, so that was a whole lot of fun. My dad rushed to save the day and helped me fix the plumbing and clean up the water and salvage what little sanity I had left. After that, I got to work demoing the floor. We weren't exactly planning to do this yet, but the toilet had a slow leak into the floor and we had some repairs to make, so I said, screw it. Let's just blow the budget and just do it now because at this point, why not? I prepped for the pedestal sink by notching the studs to add a 2x6 to mount the sink to. Drywall repair is my absolute nemesis. I suck at it, it's messy, and I would rather dry shave than do drywall, but I'm too cheap to pay someone, so here we are. I accidentally busted a hole in the wall, Hulk smashing the toilet, so I used this handy patch kit to fix the consequences of my actions. Next, we took a trip to Lowe's to pick out new floors, and I fell in love with this Carrera marble tile. It was only 99 cents a tile, so we may actually stay in budget. The thought of water damage gives me anxiety, so we didn't want to cut corners, and we chose to use a waterproof uncoupling membrane for the tile floors. It was super easy to install, and I have a little peace of mind knowing that it'll help save us from damage should the house flood again. Which, given our luck with this house, that'll happen as soon as we finish this bathroom. Next up is tiling the floor and a few bold surprises, so stick around and follow for part two. Okay, thanks, bye!